For some of these problems, no matter what, when you solve for uh, get your U and plug everything back in, sometimes no matter what, you're not going to be able to get all the X's to cancel out. So there's another strategy that you can use for that, and this is going to be called change of variables. We are going to do that on this problem. Now you may not know you have to do that process until you actually get into the, the four-step process. So we're going to start right now and do the four-step process, just like we've done before, and I'll show you what extra thing you have to do in order to make this work. The first thing we'll do is pick our U. The U is again always going to be something that's inside of something else, or inside function there. So your U is going to be equal to uh, 1 minus X, the part inside the parentheses. And then we're going to take the derivative of both sides. So we do uh, DU is equal to, in this case we're going to get a negative uh, DX there, that's the derivative of 1 minus X. And then if you solve for DX here, your DX is just, you can just apply the negative on the other side now, so your DX is equal to negative uh, DU. So we would put this back into the original one, you would have uh, X right here by itself, and you have U to the fourth power, and then you have times a negative DU. Okay, so here's the problem right there. The problem is we still got an X that's left over and we can't cancel it. So here's what you're going to do with change of variables. We're going to go back to and work with my original statement for U and I'm going to solve this for X and then I can plug this back into here and I'll have something that involves only U. So that's, how, that's what change of variables means. You're changing this variable into one with a U. So I have u equals 1 minus x. I'm going to solve that for x. I'm going to add x to the other side. So I have x plus u equals 1 and then subtract. So I get x is equal to 1 minus u. Now that I have this substitution, I'm going to put that into there. And now I'm ready for my step number 4, which my step 4, when I put this uh, in there, the, the negative is going to be on the outside of the integral. And my x is going to be a 1 minus u. And I still have the u, the fourth there, and then I have the du. So this is now going to be the actual integral that I'm going to work with, and now we have everything in terms of u like we want. It's probably best to multiply both of those out, so that way you can use the inverse power rule on this. So I have negative, I get u to the fourth minus u to the fifth, and then du. I'm ready to integrate both of these things uh, separately, and so Remembering that each of these will end up getting a negative multiplied by it once I do that. So I get negative u to the fifth over five plus, uh, because negative negative is plus, u to the sixth over sixth uh, plus c. So this is what it turns into. Now I just put my u back in, one minus x. So I can write that as negative one minus x to the fifth power over five plus one minus x to the sixth power over six and then plus C in the end there. This here would be your final answer. So again, uh, this strategy, change of variables, is one that you sometimes need to do if you can't cancel out all the X's. This one we can do again by just solving our original statement. We solved it for X, we plugged it back in there, it gave us something that has all U's in it, and then from there it was easy to take the antiderivative of each of those to get our final answer. We're going to do one more that involves the change of variables process we just talked about before. So we're going to do first identify your u. The u, we want to pick the one that's inside of something else. So we'll let the u equal x plus 4 inside the radical. Step number two is we take the derivative of both sides. So du is, in, in this case, du just equals dx, and that's going to be it. Okay, so now. When we plug this back into here, step number three, that's already solved already, so I'll make a substitution. I'm gonna get the integral of two x plus one over square root of u, and then I can just go ahead and, and change the uh, dx into a, a du right there. We have another problem where we don't have all the x's that are canceled, so we are gonna do the change of variables on this one. We're gonna work with our original statement here, u equals x plus four, we're gonna solve it for x this time because I want to get rid of the x that's there. If I solve for x, my x is going to be equal to u minus 4. So now I'll put this in place of the x inside there and I'll get 2 times u minus 4 plus 1 all over the square root of u and I still have the du over here. Now I've changed it all into uh, u's so I'm going to multiply that out on top. I'm going to do I get 2u mi minus 8 plus 1 is going to be a minus 7 there. 
and then all this is going to be over square root of u and then du. Okay. Uh, what you want to do next is split this fraction up to make it easier to integrate because you want to get it all separate fractions so you can integrate each one. So we'll do 2u over u to the 1 half minus 7 over u to the 1 half. So we're going to break that up into two separate fractions. Then that's going to allow us to use uh, in, uh, the uh, exponent properties to simplify that. I get 2u, if I subtract this, I get u to the 1 half. And then this is going to be minus 7u to the negative 1 half, and then plus c. So now I've finally taken it all down into something where I can take the inverse power rule, and I'm, I'll come over here and I'll continue that problem on this side. So this is now going to be our fourth step here. Our fourth step is going to be taking the antiderivative with the inverse power rule here. So I'm going to do uh, 2 raised to the power by 1, 3 halves, divide by... Uh, 3 halves. Then I have a minus 7 raised to the power by 1, that's positive 1 half divided by 1 half. And then I have uh, plus c. So I have to flip the fraction, that's going to be a, a 4 thirds u to the 3 halves. Flip that, minus 14 u to the 1 half plus c. And then finally I'll put the u back in. We originally said u is equal to this, x plus 4. So now I have 4 thirds x plus 4 to the 3 halves minus 14x plus 4 to the 1 half, which if you want to leave it as 1 half you can, or if you'd like to write it as a square root, you can do that as well. And then this right here would be your uh, final answer by using change of variables. We're able to make everything all in terms of u, make it easier by splitting up the fraction, and then we get our final answer, which is right there.